Change is the need of the hour. Change is the only constant in life. How many times have we heard this but chosen to dismiss it? The coronavirus pandemic has forced us to accept that change is here to stay and all of us have and need to change. Zone 1 is now going to share how life has changed over these past few months and how their members have changed in response to the changing environment. Consider you see this message about the 26th uh, July Navinas of a financed uh, mass uh मास Yeah, daily mass every day, as well as the Sunday mass. They can hear mass together with the family, and for once, all the family members are sitting together and hearing mass, which is a very positive point. And they are listening to the word of God more than uh, straying, you know, lo- looking at people around and things like that. So I think it's uh, having a positive effect in one in a way. We will not be receiving the Eucharist physically. But I think uh, what we are getting very important is we are not missing out on the word of God. Right. Very true. Very true. We even had our novenas. We have not missed uh, this time. You know, even though we are in this pandemic situation, we haven't missed out our novenas to Saint Anthony or Divine Mercy or the Sacred Heart. We have been praying together as a community with all these novenas also. Yes. Also, uh, the family rosary. Has been such an integral part of our lives. Uh, I've noticed that uh, when we say rosary during the regular times, one of us, like at home, is not there because of maybe work schedule or something. But now, uh, because of this lockdown situation, all of us are at home together, and we are praying the rosary together as a whole, as a family. One of the many things. that's happened during lockdown that's been a blessing to me personally has been been able to connect with friends who i haven't met or haven't even spoken to in the last couple of months or years mainly due to work schedules and that's been amazing because i've been able to connect with a lot of people another thing which uh, a few of us got together has been called growing in conversation uh five of us girls from the neighborhood meet over a call once a week and we talk about different things share our lives share what we're going through uh we're not just a listening ear but even to be there for each other and be heard and i think that has been very important with the whole thing of mental health coming up and we've been able to be there for each other another thing that has been amazing and a great blessing is to see, to be able to start something called worship evenings which a few of us began right when the lockdown was imposed the first friday of lockdown we met together over zoom to pray the way of the cross and that led us to opening it up to other young professionals young professionals from the neighborhood the city and our friends in other parts of the world and so we meet every friday over a zoom call for a time of praise and worship some evenings it's followed by a game others by an input we watch a video we discuss about it or we even share our experiences and i think these have been the many blessings through this time thank you change is the need of the hour a change of mindset and life in the new normal today with this pandemic going out of the house to school to work shopping socializing all of our daily schedules have changed and our approach to it has changed we curse the lockdown but why we feel like we are prisoners in our own home not able to go out oh those good old days not 20 years ago 
but just six months ago. And where is my personal space? Everyone packed together. I get so irritated. Mood swings, arguments and fights. And all our milestone events and plans all shattered. But even though there is so much of negative, there is always also positive. A blessing in disguise. Quality time with our family. Our parents and our grandparents. We might be missing our friends and family, but thank God for Zoom, WhatsApp video, and etc. etc. We're always connected. Through this lockdown, we have started to become more self-reliant. We've started to learn new skills and also improved on our old skills. We've started to adapt this new technology into our lives. Staying healthy is the best way to beat this pandemic. As they say, health is wealth. And what's most important for us is our belief and our faith. And that is what keeps us going. Hello everyone, I am Petra de Cruz, studying in Standard 6 in Villa Chisa High School. Our lives suddenly changed because of something called COVID, a virus that was in China but then spread throughout the world. During this time of lockdown, I was initially bored but slowly began to have fun, doing different things I never had the time earlier to do. I tried painting and watched many movies with my family, thus give us more time to interact with each other. School life also changed for me. I now don't have to get up early and wait for the bus at 7 in the morning, but I do miss my bus friends and the fun we used to have on the way. I now get up leisurely and sit in front of the laptop in my room, waiting for my teacher to come on Zoom. The good part of this is that I don't have to carry my school bag as my books and pencils are all around me. All I have to do is stretch. That includes my snack treats. I realize that the only thing in life is change. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Sneha Fernandez from the Masa Prakash community of Zone 1. Well honestly to tell you, as a teacher I really am missing school so much right now. Processing the idea of teaching from home wasn't very easy for me uh, given factors like not being able to connect with my students on a one-to-one -one basis, not being able to correct physical copies anymore, uh, looking for nooks and corners at home to conduct my classes, possible connectivity issues, uh, as well as having to balance both work from house and school. However, it is in these times that my family's constant support and understanding has helped me conduct my online classes in the most effective ways as possible. It is now that I am constantly looking for courses and workshops that would help me update and upgrade my technical skills and knowledge. Keeping lessons as simple and as interactive as possible has really helped in creating a stress-free environment for both my students and myself. And last but not the least, taking up uh, taking out time for my weekly schedule and uh, catching up on a few friends and relatives, uh, reading, reflecting on the Bible as well as looking for other activities that interest me have really helped me de-stress and look forward to the next week with a fresh mind. Hi, my name is Alida Fernandez and I have been working from home for the last three to four months. I have noticed this 
changes. One is that I have more free time. I've utilized this time to do some exercises, catch up on my hobbies and learn few dishes. Another change is that I have been observing nature more. I have seen seeds grow into saplings. Birds hatch from their nests and over time fly into the sky. Navina in honor of Saint Anne. Abba Father, you were pleased to confer on Saint Anne the privilege of being the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who gave birth to your only begotten Son, Jesus, the Savior of the world. Grant that we, who honor her as our heavenly patroness, may through her prayers be favored with a renewed presence of Jesus in our lives, ever keeping him at the center of our lives, help us to be alive to him as he speaks to us today through the scriptures, the church and the day-to-day -day happenings in our lives. As a people drawn from different social backgrounds, may we never lose sight of our unity in Christ through our baptism and in the sharing of the one bread and the one cup in the Eucharist. Bind us together as one people, generous with our time and talents in the service of all, irrespective of caste, creed and community, particularly those who are in need, the lost, the lonely, the forgotten, the sick, the unwanted, and the aged. Thus, may we strive to build your kingdom of justice, love, and peace in our midst. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Children of 